back. It is Bones. And today, we're going to take a quick look at a release from McFarlane from his Spawn line. And this one I have actually been anticipating for years. Now this is Haunt. Now the reason I say for years is because I have heard of this character before, but all I could ever find was a resin statue that was released from McFarlane. And even that statue really got me interested in this character. Really awesome looking statue. And I, was, I would always go in and look at pictures of it and be like, man, that's a really interesting, awesome character from McFarlane. Now you do get a lot of worms out there running their mouth saying that this is just a rip off of Venom. It, uh, McFarlane did create Venom, so any offshoots from that, uh, from the symbiote, uh, it's, you know, coincidental. Now, this character is actually completely different. Now, can you really say uh, the Hulk is a rip off of Superman just because they both have, you know, incredible strength? Of course not. One's a gamma creature, you know, and the other one is an illegal alien from another planet, but they have nothing to do with each other. And basically just because this guy uses ectoplasmic energy doesn't have anything to do with Venom or anything like that. But pushing that aside, he does look pretty ectoplasmic in the packaging, but let's go ahead and take a closer look at him. But first, he does come with your standard black spawn stand. Now, these are not really needed, but sometimes they'll come in useful. He also comes with some pretty sweet accessories. You have two hands, alternate hands. These have a little bit more ectro, ectoplasmic slime coming off of them, I guess you could say. But pretty, pretty gnarled hands, which I'm always a big fan of. So really liking those. He also comes with like a ectoplasmic blast, kind of like a tentacle. Uh, really nicely painted and some cool detail in there. Kind of looks kind of like volcanic rock or ashy, something like that. But I always, when I see the images from the comics, I always think of it more as like hardened, like kind of like it could turn to like stone. I don't know why, it's just always in my imagination there. He also comes with this kind of ectoplasmic form coming up from the ground. You can actually pair this with the stand. It kind of fits together. And this one does have a plug as well. Now, kind of sad that McFarlane doesn't include cards with the spawn figures. I just think it's like a cool little touch and it gives you some information on the character because a lot of, you know, uh, regular buyers do not know a lot of things about the spawn characters. But eh, it is what it is. We'll still enjoy the, the figures for what they are. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at them first impressions I, I'm really digging this figure I kind of knew that I would like it so I have I had ordered this one a long time ago uh, recently he went on sale on Amazon and I picked up an extra one with a commando spawn so that's why I went ahead and, and wanted to review this one because I actually want to customize this one and then I'll have that other one coming uh, in the in the mail but I already know what I want to do kind of ahead of time but really enjoying him. He has awesome sculpt work. This guy, you know, has more of like a, uh, I want to say sinewy, like, kind of like bark, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Kind of like barkish texture, uh, kind of like a living, you know, organism. Uh, really nice sculpt work, uh, really haunting look, because <laughs> he's called Haunt, right? But that, where you can see his face, it's kind of like shows you a little bit of his humanity, but not too much. Then you see his whole, you know, horrific uh, form. But yeah, pretty nice figure from McFarlane. Have always been anticipating this one, so I'm really happy to finally get him in my hands. Let's take a look at the head. Really nice scope for the head there. Now, here's where the first thing I want to custom is. I think it shows a little bit too much skin, like in some of the comics, and I remember in the statue, 
it's pretty much only like the lower jaw that, that you could see and this one has more like of the side jaw and cheek so I'm gonna repaint that but all in all looks really cool the, the eyes are really spooky now articulation he cannot look up at all so I might you know mod out the head so, so that at least he could look up slightly he looks down really well that's for sure you get the right to left articulation and then he can tilt his head for some character loving this figure so far I mean it's really cool moving down he has that classic uh, haunt symbol which is like a swirl engraved into the chest it looks really good let's take a look at the waist now he does have side to side he does have full range at the waist he can lean forward slightly and then he leans back really well he also has a lower waist swivel an upper chest swivel and you can twist them to get them in some cool poses really happy with that this one's actually really smooth the, the articulation really smooth let's look at the butterfly joint at the arm at the shoulder uh, it's there it's a little bit tight but you can manipulate it he does have a bicep swivel and then double jointed elbows now moving down into the forearm he has some ectoplasmic strands here coming out of his wrists um that's another custom i might end up doing i might take all of these extra strands off i just feel like i want a more cleaner look and then be able to switch to the hands if i really want to see ectoplasm he has that newer ball joint from mcfarland at the wrist where you could get articulation tilt and hinge pretty nice both sides look good I, I like the way the paint transitions from like the shoulders down into the arms then into the forearms and into the hands it's like a gradual you know turning to white from dark it's pretty sweet now you can get them in a cool t-pose so bushings here at the, inside the the butterfly joint that's another thing i'm probably gonna darken just because they're so white or like dark like light gray that they're really predominant like you could see them right away so to like blend them in a little bit more i'm probably gonna darken those up and another thing is he's really shiny and even the resin statue when i would look at it it looked kind of like chalky like like matte it didn't really have that much of a shine so i'm gonna end up re adding a lot of paint but more of a matte paint the only problem will be that I'll have to really clean it to get the paint to grip and let it dry because it's not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to put sealer on it because then the sealer, even if it's a matte sealer, will go ahead and give it that, that shine again. So we'll see how it goes. I am gonna do the repaint, you know, right away. So I might have like a little buffer video in the middle just to, just for fun, but then I am gonna do the, the repaint. Uh, custom work on this guy let's go ahead and go down to the thighs awesome thigh rotation there more than enough you actually need no thigh cut you can pop out his leg and he does have that sweet hip rotation double jointed knees straighten it back out down at the ankle up down left to right rocker and toe articulation now before we go let's take a look at all the fine little detail even on the legs you feel like that grain like that tree bark grain on here really nice these tendrils are probably going to go don't need those let's take a look at them from the bottom no tread and no identifying marks moving up the back more of that pretty cool grain work uh, looking at the legs he can kick this far and with that soft 
trunk area, you can actually lift his leg back pretty nicely. And then moving up to the back. Love the back sculpt. Just awesome. Uh, you can't see the spine like in the resin statue, but it is really nice. Really nicely sculpted in there. So all in all, really liking this guy. This is going to be the first of my two that I buy from McFarlane. This one I am going to customize and do some modifications on and repaint a little bit. Now, I know a lot of people out there don't know a lot about this character. I think it's two brothers. One was killed and then they merged together and make this haunt figure. Uh, he is known to use weapons or guns and even blades. So that I might add a, a little custom uh, blade for him. Uh, have to work fast though, but I might get that in there. And yeah, really digging him. Nice to have him in plastic form. And we will be starting work on him right away. But you guys keep hunting out there. Keep collecting. Keep customizing. And I will see you on the next one.